Today I'm going to show you how to create these mesmerizing animated loops. I created all these visuals as part of a music video for Stephen Weston, so please watch the full music video first. Link is in the description below. For this project, I took inspiration from a number of sources, which includes old animation work from Canadian animator Norman McLaren, Jessica Inn's geometric experiments, and Max Cooper's music video for Symmetry, animated by Kevin McLaughlin. My process for creating these visuals was actually rather straightforward. I created a few simple visual motifs, for example, a wave, and by duplicating, manipulating, rotating, and offsetting the layers in time, I ended up with a bunch of cool animations. For example, let's take a look at this wave. I created this by animating a dot to move up and down, making sure to smoothen its trajectory using the graph editor, and looping the animation using the expression loop out by alt-clicking the position stopwatch. I then wrote down a simple expression under the position property. For every layer we duplicate, the subsequent dot will move 60 pixels to the right. Then we need to select all the layers, right-click to access the keyframe assistant menu, and select sequence layers. I want each layer to be offset by two frames from one another, and because the layers are 4 seconds long, I will input 3 seconds and 22 frames. Final thing to do is to move all the layers to the beginning of the timeline, and extend them to the end. Now that we've made this wave, let's create more complex visuals from it. What happens if we rotate it? In a new comp, bringing in our wave, let's add a simple expression under the rotation properties. For each layer we duplicate, the layer will be rotated by 15 degrees. This is what we get. We can get different results by changing the angle, and by changing the blending mode from normal to exclusion, we obtain this cool look. Instead of rotating, if we move each layer in space, we obtain this trippy pattern. If we sequence these layers, making sure to loop out the time remap properties of the wave layer, and move and extend them appropriately, we get this almost 3D effect. In order to properly loop out the time remap properties, you'll need to add one keyframe on the penultimate frame of the animation, and replace the last keyframe with 0000. Going back to the original wave, I stabilized one end by keyframing the wave's position, pre-comped the result, and used this new comp as a starting point of a new set of animations. If we duplicate and rotate each layer like before, we obtain this pattern. We can flip the wave, experiment with the number of duplicates, the rotation factor, or we can combine different patterns together. We can even offset each subsequent layer by a few frames. Another thing we can do is to arrange our waves into a shape, like this, creating a sort of box. If we pre-comp this, we can create a tunnel by adding an expression to the scale property so that each layer we duplicate is scaled down. We can then offset or rotate each of these layers to create even more patterns. And that's basically my entire process for the creation of these animations. Other simple visual motifs I used were this loading wheel, this sort of metronome, these bars, and using the same process of duplicating, manipulating, rotating, and scaling via a few simple expressions, I was able to create lots of cool visuals. It involved a lot of experimenting, so I suggest coming up with your own simple visual motifs and seeing what you can create from them. Check out the full music video if you haven't already, and subscribe for more tutorials and breakdowns. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.